today we're going to take a look at Liliana the Dark Devil Maiden. This is the only Devil Maiden who has a demon statue in her skill set, which is very cool. I can't wait to see what... That's an awesome unit. Uh, but I can't... That's what she said. Uh, I can't wait to see what this... Uh, I can't wait to see what this does. Uh, we got the first skill. It's the same as the other ones, the glancing hit. This one is the reflect harmful effect. We'll see how, uh, how well this works. I feel like this is going to work nice in theory, and then we might get into the matches and not really see too much happening here for the Mischievous Trap. And then we have the Lord of Hell calls out the Lord of Hell to fight for you. The Lord of Hell gains a turn instantly and has HP 50% of your max HP and 50% increased critical damage. Once HP becomes zero, it disappears and Devil Maiden reappears. This kind of reminds me of the Beast Riders, how they have like two different forms. Not quite the same as the Beast Riders, but similar-ish to those. And then we have the Lord of Hell. So this is an AoE defense break if the enemy's defense is already decreased their attack uh decreases their attack power and if they have both defense uh, break and attack power break it stuns them with a 50 percent chance so this is a nice aoe uh skill one that does debuffs and then we have unbind which is just transfers back to the devil maiden so i'm going to spoil the entire video at the beginning i was looking through her replays and it seems that 75 percent of them are losses which is shocking to me because i expect like even if she's nothing special I expected about 50% uh, 50 win rate, but that's uh, it's interesting. Maybe she's just getting controlled because she doesn't have super crazy base speed or a speed lead, or maybe it's just the fact that her passive, uh, that, that it's not a passive, it is she has to actually turn into the Lord of Hell. So we're going to see in a second, because if you think about it, like the Beast Riders, that's their passive, they just dismount, but this one has to actually get a turn also the aoe as we're seeing here the aoe can be uh not so great can be kind of detrimental because now verti heals revenging and then you also have the minato revenging so that is actually working against them but on the bright side <laughs> she died she went back into human uh rather not human devil maiden form so it's gonna be a clutch praha match if anything so we'll see but she seems honestly, she seems cool enough. So I was I was surprised to see that her win rate was not that uh, not that crazy. But it could just be people testing her out and using her in oh the glancing hit on Verdi Hill is pretty nice though. I will say that. But it could just be people using her maybe not in the greatest uh, situations. We shall see. So there's a nemesis on the uh, Leo. Nemesis is solid on Leo because then he can come in with his skill too and torrent and ignore defense and all that stuff okay we're starting with plenty of LDs actually Oliver not picked first the Ethna was picked first usually you see that uh, the other way around so let's see Leo gets banned so that Miles can do all of his damage but the Viva Chill has so crazy fast base speed and that's done for let's see this might need to be a turn cycle spotlight if anything And then we see the skill too. Not bad, and gets and just gets removed very easily. I figured the skill too was gonna be the thing that was disappointing more than anything else. Okay, so Lord of Hell. Let's see some uh, defense breaks. Let's see some attack power breaks and some stuns. Let's see none of that. Okay, well maybe this is why the the win rate is not that great, cause it turns into uh, the demon and turns into the Lord of Hell. Ooh, the defense break is still on there. I thought that the defense break was actually going to be removed after the uh, transition. So that is that is something to note, for sure. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, I suppose it's just working the same way as the... Uh, like, for example, if Savannah gets dismounted. But... Yeah, I think this might be just an Abelio victory, possibly. This this looks because Abelio can take care of the Juno pretty easily. He has two different skills that heal. He does pretty decent damage, and he has element advantage. Which you know, who knows if that's actually a thing? But okay, Lord of Hell. And now they're gonna get all the debuffs on the Juno, so she can cleanse them and heal back up. No, they don't get the debuffs. Yeah, this is still that's that's an Abelio victory. Annabelle picked so early. I, I don't know about the Annabelle. Personally, I, I don't feel the Annabelle was the greatest uh, right there. 
Annabelle was banned out, though, so <laughs> apparently they did feel like the Annabelle was the most dangerous. That kind of went different than I expected it to, to be honest. So... Diana gets a turn. Diana takes out, I'm sure, the Robo. Yep. Comes back. How many turns does the... Oh! Robo gets a turn. Oh my god. RNG! Oh, so fun. RNG is so fun. Okay, so now they're going to go into the Lord of Hell form, and they're going to attack Power Break on uh, whatever has defense breaks already. Okay. So they get the Violent Proc. That was uh, pretty decent there. Because all the Violent Procs are going to be AoEs. Actually, this is not bad. Look at this. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So that was a, that was a decent enough match of this, uh, of seeing what this unit can do. Well, I think the player on the left-hand side is trying to outspeed. I don't know. I just get that feeling. I just get that feeling. And they ban out the speed lead, ban out the Leo. Does Vivachel take turn one? No, she does not. Because Vivachel could take two. She takes turn two. All right. And increase attack bar over the whole team. Let's see. Juno's gonna do, uh, nope, Juno's not gonna do Juno things. She's about to do Juno things in a second, though. Alright. We're gonna see. Oh, they didn't go for the skill two, they just went for skill one. Increase attack bar. I like the use of Nemesis. People are using, uh, people are using Nemesis a lot more, uh, this season than they were previously. So, one of the things over here with the Liliana is she needs to actually be in demon form. She needs to get a turn and be in demon form for her to do Juno. <laughs> Juno just kept her alive. Uh, she needs to be in, she needs to get a turn to turn into the Lord of Hell and then, you know, then she's going to do her thing. But if she does not get a turn, if she's controlled, then it's not like the, oh, here we go. Oh, never mind. Uh, but it's not a passive. It's not like the, uh, the Beast Riders. So, that's one of the big differences. As many times I'm like, oh, it's like the Beast Riders. It's kind of like, but it's not like, but it, that's the big difference is it's not a passive activation. It's they need to actually get a turn and use it first. So, let's see. <sighs> I mean, they're getting some, okay, they got the defense break there. They got the defense break there. And Viva Gel does, Viva Gel obviously very fast. She does damage based on speed. So, was enough to take out that uh, Ashir. Abelio first pick. That is way too easily punished by units that are not even on the battlefield. Uh, Oliver and Shengpeng, which they didn't even bother bring in. But they wouldn't have had to worry about uh, about that Abelio in that instance. So, gets dismounted. Decent enough damage, which also means that she's probably going to be pretty squishy. They are going to bring that uh, Beast Rider back from the dead, though. So let's see. Lord of Hell. And how many turns? Attack power breaks on these things. Okay. Even if they take that down. Well, when they take that down, it's still just going to come back. And welcome back. Although she can't, uh, she can't transform now. Let's see. And plenty of turns. All right. So cleanse. Very nice. I actually thought they were going to go for the skill three. Uh, uh, sorry, skill two with that. It's a lot of dots. Nora could do some nasty stuff here. All right, Mischievous Trap. Let's see if we can see... Because we really didn't see too much going on with the Mischievous Trap yet. I thought that was gonna. I thought that was gonna take both the Nora and the uh, the Nana down. So that's done. So we don't really. We're just seeing the units that are already meta. Again, we didn't really see anything from that skill two, right? I I don't think we've seen anything from the skill two that's been like, wow, oh my goodness, her skill two is so great yet. It's cool that she transforms into the Lord of Hell, and then the AOE skill one, especially after a violent proc, is pretty nice. So they've already brought out one counter to the Devil Maiden at the very beginning. Because the Rakuni can just cleanse what she does. So, let's see. Oh, I, I don't think the Rakuni was the greatest there, necessarily. He just happened to be a counter to the next thing that they uh, brought out. Because the Vivachel is going to just switch the attack age. And they can just pop something off right after that. Rakuni is best if, uh, if they're doing a lot of debuffs. So... 
Well, let's uh, let's see. They were probably just planning on using Rakuni regardless. That's uh, that's what I'm going with. Okay, nice LD5 combinations that people can't really <laughs> can't really replicate. Because I know some of you guys. Are, well, the, yeah. The first first off, it's very hard to replicate the uh, brand new LD5 in itself. It's just LD5 spotlights that we're seeing. Okay, so eventually that's going to die, and then and then switch into the human form. It's not really human. It's like kind of an undead uh, unit, but and then do some damage to something else so that Rakuni does not cleanse the miles. <laughs> oh, Rakuni OP. All right, yeah, they really they really want to take out that Rakuni at this point. I'm sure. Although, as soon as they go into Devil Form... No, they don't have Sustain, though. I was going to say, as, as soon as they go into Lord of Hell Form. Uh, there we go. So, you see the Reflect onto the Light Desert Queen. So, we did actually finally get to see a little bit of what the Skill 2 can do. No bomb. Oh, my God. They're on limited time. <laughs> Rakuni OP. Okay, so now Rakuni's done. I'm, I'm calling it now. Rakuni's done. They get the extra 50% uh, crit damage. That's done. And GG. Why the Anavel? For the, just for the defense breaks. Okay. Let's, let's see. Alright. This is going to be enough to nuke it down. Or they get another turn. They're also going to decrease attack power. And more turns. There we go. And they just concede after that. So that is Liliana, the Dark Devil Maiden. I'm honestly surprised to see her win rate so low. She is a decent enough unit. It's not like she's terrible. It's not that she's game-breakingly OP either. Because, again, as I've said 5,000 times in this video alone, she does not automatically go into the Lord of Hell form. She has to actually transition into the Lord of Hell by using her skill. So it's not quite the same as the Beast Riders, but still a solid enough unit. I could see her being tweaked though in the future to be a little bit more effective. Maybe this activates passively in the future. When she takes lethal damage, it will turn into the Lord of Hell or something like that. But anyway, that's it for this one. It was still fun to see regardless. Decent enough, but might be tweaked in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you as always in the next one.